Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today I have two very special, talented guests. It's Lindsay and Mark. What's up? What's up? You know Lindsay. We baked together. We friends. We've been in each other's videos. But Mark is very new. He has never baked with us before. So welcome. First timer. Thank you. I am so excited to have you guys. I'm going to put all of their links down below. So if you're not following them, go follow. Go show them some love. I am so excited because they are working on a new project. Tell us about it. You're on the new season of what? Dancing with the Stars. Mark is challenged with the task of teaching me how to dance. A new dance every single week. This is how Hashtag Team Stark right here. Oh, yeah, go. that's yeah. how Stark. She yeah. knows. She's like, you're a true fan. I like yeah. it. I know what's up. And Ro came and watched us this <gasps> week. It was yes. so fun. I got to watch them live. They are amazing. And if you guys want to support them, I'm going to be putting links to all of the information down below. You can watch every Monday. And you can call in and vote, or you can vote online. What are we going to be making today, Lindsay? We are going to be making a disco ball cake to that's look right. like the mirror <laughs> ball trophy from Dancing with the Stars. I am I'm so excited about this, guys. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. The things you'll need to make this cake will be two cups and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two cups of sugar, one cup of cake flour, two and a half cups of whole milk, three-fourths cup of oil, three eggs, and we'll just be using the egg whites, one teaspoon of almond extract, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. Now, now let's, let's put, put it all together. together. <laughs> <laughs> that wow. was, that was, that I brought, I brought that. I learned that from Mark. <laughs> First step to making our cake, mix together our dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl. Lindsay, I'm gonna have you pour in the flour, cake flour. Get it Good all in there. Perfect, salt. perfect. Thank you. Mark, will you pour in the sugar, baking powder, and salt? Whisk together until well combined. Hey, whisking, is this whisking? Yeah, just big circles, <laughs> big circles, and try to keep the ingredients in, in the, the bowl. bowl. Yeah, this it's is... a good it's a good tip. I make messes all the time. All right, that looks pretty good. I feel like everything should be a dance move to stay in theme. Oh yeah. Can you do Can you do to me an eight count? Absolutely. Mark can do that. No problem. One, no, two, I think you three, do it. four, I think five, you six, do it. seven, eight. Oh, there you go. Oh. Bang, wow. <laughs> okay, our next step is going to be mixing up our wet ingredients, mm -hmm. and we're going to be starting with the egg whites. So what I like to do is the jiggle method. I'm going to give each of you an egg. Oh, this is oh, no. fresh. We got this. <laughs> Crack the egg. And they're gonna let the egg white drop into the bowl and just jiggle the yolk back and forth and then bring the yolk over here. Go for it, just go for it, you got it. Okay. If the yolk falls in, you can always fish oh, it out. Oh. Ah! Well, that's okay, we got a spoon. I got no, a spoon. No, I got it, I got I it. it. I can got it, I can got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Mark's very precise. Yes, yes. Oh. I'm very proud, you guys. Yes, okay, <laughs> let's go wash our hands. <laughs> oh, it's time to show me up. <laughs> now add your oil mm -hmm. and your milk. Nice pour. Boop, boop, boop. That was a good one. Add your extracts. We have vanilla and almond. Ooh, this is the double pour, guys. Boop. Do you want to whisk again? Yes. So much control, you guys. That is years. Very talented violin. Years of practice. <laughs> is this it, right? You hold on this oh, side? Oh, that's, that's beautiful positioning. Is this too much? Is this just really, enough That's drama. just enough for the dramatic the section. <laughs> you know, we gotta make that violin <laughs> face, which is kind of like the... What is it? <laughs> Mark, what's your violin face? Wait, you Mark has a guitar face. I have a horrible guitar face. What's your I, guitar I, face? I kind of... <laughs> you have a violin face. You have a guitar face. I, I need a baking face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients. Yes, pour all of the wet ingredients into the dry, mix together one more time. Oh, Lindsay, course, you're gonna just mix it up. You are the official mixing it up oh, person today. Well, thanks. You take yeah, turn? let's put yeah, Mark's no, muscles Mark, to use. Yeah, Come on, God, Mark. My arm is tired. Use these that? muscles, oh, Mark. This. What you got them for? What, what dance take... move should I do to get a six pack? You know, there's a move in the samba <laughs> called the whisk. No way. Wait, how do you do I'm it? Whisk, you how show do you us. do it? You just step side and bounce. Back and bounce. It's called a samba whisk. Step and, and bounce. bounce. That's it. And bounce. bounce. Da, and da, da, bounce. Da. So and you're bounce. whisking while whisking. 
up here I have a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper with the pans on top so that if there's any spillage in the oven, it's okay. This is our ball pan from the row baking line and you place them on top of these little silicone liners so oh, it cute. stabilizes it. So take it away, just eyeball it. Okay. That's the technique I like to use. Just <laughs> pour in the bat. <laughs> You got it, Lindsay, okay. you got it. Please. This cake recipe was perfectly developed to fit for this pan. Wow. So just make it as even as possible. Wow, Lindsay, that effort. Look at that. Every drip of Flexibility. Look at that. That's called flexibility. That's good. Well, bravo. Thank bravo. you, thank you. Well, before we bake these, we should make mm -hmm. sure that they're completely flat so they don't oh. spill out while we bake. So we adjust them just a little yeah. bit. We're gonna put them in the oven now at 325 degrees for an hour and a half. So our cakes have baked and they've had plenty of time to cool. Mm -hmm. So what's next? I leveled them so any excess off the top and on one of the cakes, whatever one you want to be the bottom, just cut a little off so the cake will sit flat. In front of Mark, we got a turntable, which makes icing a little bit easier. And I've got a little cake plate. I've cut it to be small. I'm gonna stick this right in the middle. And this is to make it easier to move your cake. Lindsay, I'm gonna hand this to you. All right, and then just place it right on top of our little circle cake plate. Boom. In a piping bag, I have some buttercream icing with a number one A tip. So just ice the top. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna trust you. Just put a little icing, and then we'll smooth it out with a spatula. <laughs> Lindsay, I love your sound effects. <laughs> Who makes the best noise? <laughs> Mark, so you're gonna hold it flat like this yep. and then just spin oh. around. Oh. Okay. I'm so tense right now. Look how smooth this is. This is great. Don't worry about Mark's mistakes. <laughs> we can fix that. Yeah, easy peasy. We're gonna okay, be worrying about right. your mistakes in about Lindsay, two hours. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> we have dancers left to this. I'm gonna pay for that comment. Boom. Look at that. And now I'm about to frost the outside of the cake. And we're helping out. This is hopefully teamwork. It doesn't need to look perfect because we Thank are going to cover the cake with fondant <laughs> squares so it looks like a disco ball. Shut up, Lizzie! <laughs> Why does mine look so terrible? It um, doesn't look bad. Yeah, that's really sweet, Ro. <laughs> I have to take a picture of my de <laughs> Yes, you have to. My debauchery. <laughs> You know why it's good? Because you're holding the thing, so it looks like you did it! <laughs> it looks like you did it! I'm gonna be like, look how terrible Lindsay is at this. So once you get all the icing on the cake, use your spatula to smooth it out. And you can keep doing this. You can go around a bunch of times until you get it nice and smooth. Ooh, that's look at so this. calming to watch you do that. This is therapeutic. You guys ever fall down a rabbit hole on Instagram watching food videos? My wife and I just watch Food Network. That's all we do. <gasps> we just sit at home like, Love. In front of Lindsay, there is a piece of rolled out white fondant. I placed down a little piece of wax paper so that it won't stick to your work surface. And we are going to spray it with silver color mist. Nice. So we gotta shake it first. Okay. So we can use our dance, we can put some dance again. Bink, 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 bink. Go for it. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Just cover it all over. Then, while it's still wet, we're gonna add a little bit of edible disco dust. When you guys came out of that little cocoon, it's your so butterfly costume, I was like, oh! <gasps> nice job, Mark. You were Thanks. working hard. You were. We were and chatting you, it you up. did a great job. <laughs> and now we are going to cut out these little half inch cookie cutter squares. These are like the smallest square cookie cutters that I think I own. And if you don't have these, you can use a sharp cutting knife. These will be the mirror tiles all the way around the disco ball. We transferred our cake onto our cake display to look like a mirror ball trophy. Now this is really neat. You can display the cake on many different things. You can just leave it on a plate or a cake tray, but I took a candle pillar and painted it so it would look like the trophy. So do we get to use these little squares now? Oh what? yeah, now it's time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. Take some fondant squares, and I like to start in the middle and place them all over the the cake. For the final decoration step, this is totally optional because you can just leave it as a disco ball. It will still look like a mirror ball trophy, but I've cut out of white fondant the letters dancing with the stars. You can cut these letters out using simple letter cookie cutters. And I'm painting them gold with some edible gold dust mixed with a couple drops of almond extract. Once your gold letters are done, use a little bit of icing and place them on the cake to say dancing with the stars. Ta-da! Ta -da!
Wow. Here is the disco ball mirror ball trophy cake that we made today in honor of Dancing with the Stars. A big thank you to Lindsay and Mark. Thank you guys for being here and helping me bake this. This is so special. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks, Thanks for, having, for us. having us. It turned out so cute, you guys. And again, I'm gonna be putting their links down below, all their social media links. Go check them out, show them some love. If people wanna support you and love on you, what can they do every Monday? What helps you guys? Well, it's on Monday nights, eight o'clock on ABC. Okay. Our voting number is 800-868-3407 and you can also vote on abc.com. I'm going to be calling and wow. going online. I Thanks, love the girl. other contestants. I got to say I love everyone there, but I think you guys know who I love the most. This is my girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Thank and you. if you guys have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye bye.